All right, well, I made some progress. Didn't get quite where I wanted to get, but progress nonetheless. Worked in the garage up front today on the motor, got all the pistons put in, cleaned out the heads, mounted them on, got those torqued down. I'm waiting on an ARP stud for my oil pickup mount. So I did get my rear diff mounted, or my third member, whatever. That was a bitch. Not only is it heavy as the fuh, but that poor 15 got down in the bolt holes for the mounts. Made it real hard to get that bitch on. Anyways, so onto my problem I got here that I gotta go Google around for and see what people are doing. Cause shy of it being a pain in the ass to get this thing installed, I don't know if it's even possible without me doing some work on one of these axles. So let me, uh, let me pull this off so you can get an idea or a better picture. Pardon my camera work for a sec. I'll pull this rotor loose. All right, so onto this. Normally on your rear axle, you have a hole similar to these, but these are stud holes because this axle is a three different pattern option axle. And normally you have one big hole drilled in it. And the reason for this big hole is so you can reach, I don't know if you can see in there, probably not, but uh, yeah, there's not enough light to see anything in there. But um, I guess we'll just pull this axle out. So normally there's a hole so you can access these studs. Now with this thing in place, there's no way in hell I'm getting the retainer put on with these shoes in the way. Especially since the bolts that I have for these are 12 point nuts, T-bolts. Or those from Willwood as well. So I'm gonna call up Willwood tomorrow and see if they've encountered mounting them with an axle like this. And what they did, because shy of taking these shoes off, I don't know how it's possible. And I don't even know if you can get the shoes back on with the axle in the way. I think you can. So that's the retaining pin. I think you can just, well, that's the balancer that I really don't want to pull up there. Probably have to pull this spring loose here, maybe. I don't know. That's the uh, spreader assembly up here. Honestly, don't even know which side to take apart. So I'm gonna ask them which side's the, the better part to pull the, to pivot it. I wanna say the bottom's gonna be the place to take it apart. Cause that'll, I can leave this heavy spring in place, get this retaining pin out of the way, pull this, this little spring out, and then this spreader adjuster, I can pull that bar out, no problem probably. But that's where it's at. All the rear end is bolted up, good to go, tightened down. Uh, one other thing I noticed that I was confused about, this uh, bolt right here, this. The other one is a quarter inch shorter. Now, I don't know which length was supposed to go back here, but this seems to work because this side clears now. There's actually a gap between the this drop pan in the trunk and that bolt and the other side is literally just flush with the nylon like how this one is and it was needed because of that gapping I had to do over there for the mini tow frame rail piece to fit. I don't know if you can tell in my voice I'm exhausted. I've been out here most of the day between up front in the shop or garage and out here but uh, I'm gonna call it quits. If anyone knows or has dealt with this type axle with this Willwood style drum, which doubtful, but what do you do? All right, thanks guys.